for Jansen Sweet, trainee for Alino Hanover. Jason Hughes will do the driving here this afternoon from post five. They're getting ready to go in behind the Metro, in behind the Sherry's Heating Service starting gate. Here's Vance Cameron. Southfield Speedy, Riverview's Legacy, Boyer Hanover. J.J. Cash is Wellino Hanover, Montana Bend, top of the stretch. Here they come. And there they go, off and pacing. Riverview's Legacy is firing out. J.J. Cash is Boyer Hanover, third into the turn, away fourth. That is Southfield Speedy into the turn from fifth is Relino Hanover. The early trailer is Montana Bend. They're going to the opening quarter and Riverview's Legacy, the longest shot on the board, is on point for Kenny Murphy. Second, that is Boyer Hanover. Southfield Speedy will not wait. He rushes up and in the blink of an eye from fourth to first as they go by the opening quarter. Southfield Speedy is now the leader. 29 seconds flat open it up. Now second up the rail, Riverview's Legacy, Boyer Hanover third, J.J. Cash is fourth, Relino Hanover fifth, the trailer. That's Montana Bend. The opening half mile is the next station, and it'll be Southfield Speedy to get them there. Second is Riverview's Legacy, Boyer Hanover. Tipping out from third, moving up fourth, Relino Hanover. J.J. Cash is fifth, then the trailer. Montana Bend, the half up in 59 and 3. Going around the clubhouse turn. Boyer Hanover drives up to take over the lead. Southfield Speedy could not fend him off. Now third is Riverview's Legacy. Coming fourth on the outside, Relino Hanover. Fifth is J.J. Cashes and Montana Bend on the outside. Six and three quarters. They arrive there now and Boyer Hanover opens up a clear five on Southfield Speedy. Three quarters in 129. In between horses, Relino Hanover. Montana Ben poised up there. Three wide, fourth. Riverview's Legacy, fifth. In between them, J.J. Cash is their homeward bound now. And it's all Boyer Hanover. Relino Hanover, second. J.J. Cash is moving up third. Boyer Hanover and Chevrolet jog in the second. Relino Hanover is second. Third goes to J.J. Cashes, the mile in two minutes, four-fifths. Well, a great look at Boyer Hanover coming up here. Just a classy veteran here with uh, 192 lifetime starts. That's win number 22 of the career here today. Second on the season for Boyer Hanover. Came first off just past the Hass there. Was five lengths ahead of the field, a three-quarter pole. All alone coming through the stretch here. Relino Hanover came up uh, to finish second. And J.J.'s Cashers, who made a... Uh, Went to plan B there earlier on in that race, and Anna Mernon was able to work out the trip there and come up part of the triactor through the stretch. But there's no doubt who the winner is here this afternoon. Boyer Hanover gets it done for Chevrolet here in the second. Three, five, four, six. That's unofficial here in race number two. Well, we certainly do appreciate all the support in our Drive for Charity campaign this year. And, uh, you know, coming in close to $60,000 raised over the years. Walter Chivery back in this campaign. Teamed up with A&M Snow Removal this year. Oh, those guys will be back in play before you know it. But they've teamed up with MS, MS Societies on Prince of Rhode Island, and they're raising uh, right now $950 in the bank here today for Drive for Charity. So Walter doing some great work on the track, as usual, in our Drive for Charity. Boyer Hanover going to the second race winner's circle, facing Brown Gelding 10 by Dragon again from the Panderosa Dam. 
Baronet's Hanover, owned by Ivan McMillan of Valeri for trainer driver Walter Chevry, the mile in two minutes and four fifths. Boyer Hanover in the second. This race replay on Channel 2 on your in-house monitor is brought to you by Syntrack Print and Graphic, Inc. Mention this ad and receive $20 off your first order of 500 or more full-color business cards. Syntrack, 59 Watts Avenue in the Business Park. Here's the official results from the second race. Southfield Speedy 6, Riverview's Legacy 5th, Boyer Hanover the race winner. J.J. Cash is 3rd, Relino Hanover was 2nd, Montana Ben finished 4th, fractions of 29, 59 and 3, 129 and the mile 2 minutes and 4 fifths. In review, 651, 324. Boyer Hanover returning 440. The exactor 930, try after 1360. Super factor was 5435 in the early daily double, 380.
Well, on behalf of the Prince County Horseman's Club, Red Shores would like to mention billboard sponsors proudly displayed on the backstretch. They include Noonan Petroleum, Meridian Farms, Palmer Automotive, Gardner's Feed Service, Kaisley's Tent Rentals, and Colbeck's Home Hardware. Race number three is coming up next. With seven minutes to post time, the one is scratched. Easy Flyer will not go in race number three. afternoon's third race on the track for post parade. One is scratch number two, Prom King, owned by Tyler and Daryl DeRoz. Very strong winning Gabe Keogh, Tyler DeRoz training and driving. Three is Inspector Murdoch, owned by Suzanne McKagan of Albert Bridge, Nova Scotia, trained by Blaine McKenna, Jason Hughes. Four is Patrick Q, owned by Darla McCachran of Kensington, trained by Dwayne McCachran. The driver is Corey McPherson. O to be you is number five, owned by Chris McKay, Carmen Woodside, and Gary Chapel. Chris McKay, the trainer, Gary Chapel, the driver. Number six, MJ's Little Martha, owned by Lester and Michael Stewart of Albany, trained by Lester Stewart, today Norris Rogers. Seven is Piper Creek, owned by Robbie Chapel of Summerside, Robbie training and driving. Eight is Elm Grove Lynn, owned and trained by Keith Campbell of Tyne Valley, the driver is Kenny Murphy. 9. W.C. Kenzie Cookie, owned by William Fallon of O'Leary. Devin Wallace training and driving at 4 minutes to post time. Now, Lee, with the information about the Atlantic Breeders' Crown. Well, we've been working on this file for a while. It's hard to believe that it's just around the corner here, Thanksgiving weekend, uh, and the weekend of champions here. Some much-needed points again uh, just yesterday. I guess it was. I'm all mixed up with the weekend, uh, long holiday weekend. So it would have been Inverness. But anyway, in any case, Points needed to get there for the Thanksgiving weekend, October 7th through the 8th as well. And, uh, well, there's the big yearling.